Hey, what's up guys? It's Sheltek and this is my look at the Pawnage Precision Pad Gaming Mouse Pad. This mouse pad is the first one offered from Pawnage, which is a company that is known for ultra customizable gaming mice. So it really makes sense that Pawnage would offer a necessary accessory such as a mouse pad to go with their wide array of gaming mice. This mouse pad is unique to me as I've been accustomed to using extra large desk math. To go with a more dedicated mouse pad will be something I will have to adjust to. The pricing on this Pawnage Precision is very competitive at around $23, but can be had as low as $15 dollars on their website. This mouse pad also comes in four different colors, a couple which are unique to pawnage color schemes. It might not be for everybody but uses a hybrid surface that is both soft and rough for solid stopping and a speedy glide that could work for a lot of FPS gamers. So let's get into the design of this mouse pad. It comes in just one size, large, with dimensions of 400 millimeters by 460 millimeters is three millimeters thick and weighs in at one pound. So this is one big mouse pad that will take up a large area of your desk and let you have plenty of room for even the largest mice. Also giving some nice cushion for you arm aimers out there. Now the material of the pad is a hybrid cloth type, typical of a lot of mouse pads that give a smooth, light textured surface that is nice to the touch, but I don't think is fully waterproof. It's got anti-fray stitching. Some people like it, some people don't. I like it because it should extend the life of the mouse pad and keep it looking newer for a longer time. The edges are comfortable. I really didn't feel them while playing and I think Ponish did a really good job on them. On the underside is the only place where Ponish put it branding with its logo on a small tab. So from the top, you won't be able to distinguish this mouse pad from hundreds available on Amazon. It's got a rubber base that doesn't slide around. This mouse pad definitely stays put on your desk during intense gameplay. Of course, with any mouse pad, there will be a break-in period. At the beginning of that honeymoon phase, the mouse pad will be on the faster side and it will probably slow down over time. So I don't expect it to be the same as when I first got them. But I have been using them for a couple of months now and haven't seen any durability issues, although time will tell. But the Ponish Precision, in my opinion, is a control pad for FPS players. It makes micro adjustments like aiming a sniper scope, precise tracking, and quick stops just a little easier with its hybrid surface. The surface is snag free, but I wouldn't say it's overly fast, especially for heavier mice. So I think this is a great mouse pad for a Call of Duty, Apex, or Battlefront type games. So if you're looking for a large mouse pad, I think this is a good option. I like how they look, the color options available to you, the dynamic friction for FPS players, and the very minimal styling. No obnoxious logos or graphics, just simple colors to match your aesthetics. For Punch's first try at a mouse pad, it's a good start, especially paired with their gaming mice. No, the mouse pad doesn't have a special connection to their mice besides color schemes, but most companies that make mice should have some compatible mouse pad options in their store. Durability wise, it will be interesting to see how this hybrid pad and stitching hold up over time and whether this mouse pad will keep its crisp colors and not show too much wear, especially during intense gaming. But overall, this has been a good pad for me that I think fits in the middle of the pack in terms of similarly priced mouse pads. It's a good start for Ponge and I can't wait to see how this mouse pad line will turn out in the future as they improve on this product. I would also mention that I would really appreciate the care that Ponge put into the packaging of this mouse pad. Having a flat, hard-sided box is a step in the right direction which I wish all mouse pad makers did. Anyways, that's going to do it for my video on the Ponage Precision Pad Gaming Mouse Pad. I have some relevant content on the screen for you guys to check out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Peace until next time.